Hey, what's going on everybody on YouTube? Steve here, Rake and Profit, rakeandprofit.com. In this video, I wanna talk about how five seconds, literally five seconds cost me potentially about a hundred dollars profit. So I wanna share with you guys this quick story and this is gonna be a lesson for you guys. So I ended up meeting up with my buddy, Tim Fisk today and we actually just hit up a Savers, we hit up a Goodwill and we both found some pretty good stuff. But when I got to the parking lot at Savers and I met up with Tim, he was in his truck looking at some stuff in his back seat, some inventory. And he said, Steve, come over here. I wanna show you what I found at the Salvation Army. He had just left the Salvation Army a couple of minutes ago. And I was just there yesterday and I don't, I don't know what I found. I found a couple of things. But he goes, take a look at these boots that I found and um, check them out. And right when I saw the boots, I said to myself, holy mackerel, I saw those boots yesterday, but I never lifted up the shoe to see what, what brand it was. So anyways, I recognize the boots right off the bat and he flips it over to the sole of the boot and it says Red Wings. Red Wing shoes. Do you guys know how much money those are worth? His particular model was probably worth about $150 give or take. They were in pretty good condition. It was only a $10 investment. So after shipping and everything, he's probably going to make $100 profit. And guess what? I saw them at the Salvation Army the other day. They were sitting there. They were just sitting there. And I don't know if I got caught up in the clothing or what I was doing, why I did not flip over that pair of boots, but it was Red Wings. Great condition, leather, very nice, a pretty hard to come across model it appears based on the values, but those things are going for over $100. I could have made $100 profit if I took five seconds, just five seconds to flip over those pair of boots. And I'll tell you right now, I'm, I'm super happy that Tim ended up getting them instead of just some random reseller that I didn't know. So trust me, like from the bottom of my heart, I'm extremely happy. I wasn't jealous or envious or anything like that, but I was just, Right when I, right when he, right when he showed me that, I thought to myself, "This is going to be a great video because it's going to be an excellent learning lesson um, and a valuable lesson for anyone out there. If you ever have a hunch or you have a gut feeling or there's something in your intuition telling you to flip over that pair of shoes or to scan that book, I was actually just talking to my mother about this as well, and I'll, t I'll talk about that a little bit. But if you ever have that feeling, that gut instinct." Go for it, scan it, look it up, flip it over because you never know. You might be standing, you know, an inch away from a hundred dollars profit if you only took five seconds of your time. So um, when we were checking out a savers today, when when I was with Tim, they had 30% off today, and I found quite a few items. Let me see if I can share with you what I picked up today. Oh, this was a pretty cool find. These are Ralph Lauren Polo Sport leather, leather boots. Ended up getting these for about eleven dollars after 30 percent off so i don't know there wasn't a ton of information on the sold listings but i'm thinking probably 50 or more on those i may be wrong um oh yeah but what i was saying about my mother she says that a lot of times she has this gut feeling this this it's just like this inclination to just scan a book even if it doesn't look profitable and a lot of times it is with that gut feeling so go go for it um these are some uh halflinger sandals from germany $7.99, 30% off, got them for about five. Probably gonna shoot for about 30. Those were in pretty good shape. Uh, let's see what else I got. Oh. oh, here's some stuff that I got from Goodwill. Picked up a training belt. This is actually for myself, $12. I mean, if you're at the thrift store and you need something, get it. I mean, on Amazon, this is probably gonna be at least 30, so save myself some money there. Uh, picked up some ink for two bucks. It is opened but I could probably sell everything in there for about 20 or 30. $2 book selling for about 17, very, very low rank. I think it was like a 5,000 rank, guys. I love selling books, and you're gonna notice I sell all types of things. I don't like to just box myself into clothing. You know, I'll pick up video games, I'll pick up puzzles, I'll pick up workout stuff, books, shoes. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, here we have a nice camel hair, and I'm actually in the parking lot getting ready to go in the gym. People are looking at me like, what is this guy doing? I'm like holding up money. I'm like one of those idiots uh, making my thumbnail. Um, but anyways, uh, I'll just have you take my word for it. This is 100% camel hair. 
I don't know if anything is ever like 50% 50 50 camel hair, but this is 100% camel hair. Uh, Polo University shirt, uh, shirt, uh, sport coat. I'm getting flustered, guys, with everyone looking at me. Um, I'll just tell you what I have in here. A Sierra Design Windbreaker. Ooh, check this out. I have to show this to you guys because it's beautiful. This was $12.99, 30% off. Um, got this for about 10 Check out this Tommy Bahama. It is a beauty. Ooh, I love it. Beautiful Tommy Bahama. Uh, a bigger size, probably gonna shoot for 35 or 40. Uh, a Pearl Izumi uh, cycling vest and then a Ralph Lauren Polo shirt. So, got quite a few things. Um, so not bad, not bad for, you know, hour, hour and a half out hustling, having fun with my buddy, meeting up with my mother at the thrift store. Um, somebody asked, do I sell ink that is expired? Yes, always. I always sell ink that's expired, but it has to be on eBay. So yeah, don't pass up ink. I always look it up to see what it's going for. Even, you know, I just listed up some ink today from 2007, 2008. It'll still sell, believe it or not. Not for as much. Um, but it'll definitely still sell. So continue to educate yourself. If something looks interesting, if you've got that feeling, that intuition, look it up, go for it, make it happen. Um, you know, I, I missed out on $100 profit today because of five seconds of indecision, of not following my gut, of just being lazy in a sense. And you know, you live and you learn. I'm super happy that my, my good friend, you know, one of my best friends, Tim, found it. i very happy for him, you know. Um, but if you've got that feeling, go for it, look it up, scan it, and you might have $100 profit under your nose. So anyways, guys, peace out. I'm going into the gym to get in a workout. Today's been a little bit of a weird day. I was literally going at it yesterday for 16 hours straight between work, fitness, two softball games, and I ended up sleeping in today pretty late. So my day's a little, uh, a little off. So making it work, but uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. Peace. Hit the like button, guys. Show me some love. I see only 12 likes right now. Come on, guys. Hit the like button. I just hit my hand on the dash. Um, appreciate you guys. Keep on picking and making up money. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.